Hello my friends! Before we start the activity for today, I would like to show you my little altar. I put it together during Holy Week. I have kept it ever since and added a few small sacred objects that I have collected over the time. For example, this is a small silver icon that I received when my daughter was born. This is a cross that someone who went to Jerusalem gave it to me. Uh, it's a dream of mine to go there one day myself. I also have here frankincense. I have a small candle and a big candle. I also have here flagrant uh, sticks. I have a nice vase with uh, flowers, but probably most important, I have my Bible, I have the Lysig uh, prayer and a small book of prayers that belonged to my mother. I was thinking that maybe you would like to add on your altar any other object that could put you in a mood of prayer or quiet meditation. For today's activity you will need a piece of transparent uh, acrylic perspex, a set of uh, glass paint, a small and a big brush and a permanent black marker. If you don't have all the things I mentioned it doesn't matter because you can use whatever you have in your house. Draw your own picture of Jesus on, on a piece of paper or print a nice image that you like from the internet uh, and then start coloring with uh, whatever medium you have, crayons, paints, watercolor, um, felt tips and so on. After you finish the coloring, glue it on top of uh, a piece of uh, cardboard for more stability and this could become the central part of your home uh, altar, your very own self-made Jesus icon. And now let's start painting. Like I said, you will need a piece of transparent acrylic perspex, which once it's peeled, it will look like that. Place it on, on top of the image you like to, um, to paint and start tracing with a permanent marker. This trace will show on top of your image because on um, stained glass paintings everything you put first will uh, come true on the other side as first image. First of all I am tracing Jesus' uh, outfit which is a nice robe with a scarf on top of it that we can color on different compositions possible. He has the arms raised on a blessing way. He is ascended so he is staying on top of the clouds blessing us by making this painting it is important to pray to Jesus to bless our work each color and brush stroke can take form of a prayer that we will address to Jesus for ourselves for our loved ones, our families, or for the entire world. We can say something like that. Lord Jesus Christ, show us your love to us and to all your creation. Hear graciously our prayers we make for those affected by the virus on various parts of the world. We pray that an effective medicine 
to combat this sickness will be speedily found. Look upon us in your mercy and forgive us for our sins or for our failings. Guide our thoughts, guide our actions. that we could be more like you. In our thoughts, in our actions, in our hearts. Thank you, my Lord, for all your countless blessings. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my health. Thank you for the, the roof above my head. Amen. I will paint his aura with yellow, lemon yellow. For the skin I will combine a little bit of uh, pink with white. just a drop of blue to make it darker, to make it look more like skin. And our icon of Jesus is done.